The most common reason to be referred for a nerve conduction study is for the condition carpal tunnel syndrome. This particular condition includes the entrapment of a nerve called the median nerve. This nerve runs down through the midline of the forearm, tracking down, as you can see it's denoted here in green, it runs down the wrist, underneath a ligament structure here at the wrist, which is called the carpal tunnel, and then it extends out below that into the fingers. You'll see that each of the nerve fibers of this nerve travel into the thumb, index finger, middle finger, but only half of the ring finger. The other side of the ring finger and the fifth finger are innervated by a completely separate nerve called the ulnar nerve. It travels up this side, bypassing the carpal tunnel and then extending into the forearm. With an entrapment of the median nerve at the carpal tunnel, the signals from the nerve fibers downstream of where the entrapment site is cannot travel through this area at the right speed. As a result, the nerve signal gets distorted and slowed. By the time the signal reaches the brain, it can be impaired. This leads to issues with sensation. So for instance, the classic symptoms of a carpal tunnel syndrome are that of lack of sensation in the area denoted in green, numbness, tingling, pins and needles, can be often quite uncomfortable and unpleasant. The symptoms are frequently worse at night time and in early morning causing people to shake and flick their hands for relief. Symptoms are often also worse with prolonged gripping, especially if the hand is elevated such as while driving or holding a phone to the person's ear and often worse with vibrating tools, uh, motorcycle riding, anything where the hand is elevated and or gripping for a long period of time.